My name's Jason Cargill and I'm the Condition Monitoring Specialist with Teledyne Flare. Today we're going to be going through the Thermal Studio reporting and analysis software. So when you initially download Thermal Studio, which is available in three separate packages, you're faced with this screen, which is the home screen. On the home screen across the top, moving to the right, these are the application tabs. And each of these tabs gives you access to whichever functionality you need at the time. Underneath you on the left hand side, you have the quick access selection points, which allow you to create a blank report, generate a report using an existing template or create your own templates, which is a useful feature to have within this software. So as we move across to the right hand side into library, this is where you'll access your images, which you will then use for your analysis and reporting. So for example, as you can see, it's laid out just like your PC in regards to a folder-based system. So the PC folders which you have on included in this area can be used to access the images, which will then open up in this image selection area here. So regardless of how many images you have, this is where you'd select your images from. We then move across to the reporting tab. And the reporting tab has a number of predefined templates or this will be where you'll store the templates which you create yourself. The batch processing tab, as you can see, has an extensive number of functions, but this is only available in the Thermal Studio Pro version. But this does allow you to batch process large amounts of images in a relatively fast time. We then have the next selection in the applications, which is Panorama, which is very useful for when you're potentially taking thermal images of buildings. And this allows you to stitch thermal images together if the field of view isn't wide enough within the camera. We also have a live function as an application which allows you to control your thermal camera remotely from your laptop. And the additional tab here, which is routing, which is a plugin feature for Thermal Studio, which allows you to build routes within your camera and software for asset management and report generation. So when you open up the application, this is the home screen that you will see and the home tab, one of the application tabs along the top. And that allows you to select underneath to create a report using a template, as there are a number of existing templates included. Or you can create a new template yourself. What we'll do now, we'll select the existing template. So we select this tab and then you are given a number of different templates, including thermal and acoustic or mixed. And at this time, I'll select the Thermal Photo Details tablet, which you can see now appears on the right-hand side in the right-hand column in the preview. All we need to do now is then select that particular template, and then we need to choose the image that we're going to use for the software. So for example, if I choose this image here and drag it across to the right, it will be imported into the blank template that we've previously got ready. So now we can see that the report has popped up in the right-hand column. We go to the right hand of the screen and there's your report quite simply created. The information in here is, as we've said, is an existing template. You can arrange these various pieces of information to suit how you want it to look on the page. But essentially we have a thermal image, we have the digital image which was taken at the same time, and we have various parameters and information that may prove useful within your reporting process. The advantage of using Thermal Studio software is we now have a plugin available for the SI124 acoustic imaging camera, which allows you to effectively combine both thermal and acoustic reports into the one report using the same software, which is a definite advantage. So we now want to create an acoustic report. So we will select the template. We can look through the templates available. And in this case, we'll use the discharge analysis template as the data files I'm using are from a partial discharge application. So I select the template and I then select the image that I want to be included in this report. I've selected the image and I now go down to, to report and we can see the report being generated in the background. The report will appear in the right hand column. To view the report, we simply select the right arrow at the bottom right hand corner of the page. So we've generated the report and this is the title page which is automatically being produced. Uh, again, when you're using generate your own template functions. You can include information such as your company logos or any other pertinent information. So we scroll down to the second page, which is where we're now seeing the acoustic image. 
which again is a partial discharge application. This can be denoted by this rainbow colored identifying mark within the field of view. We also have on this section here is the severity scale, which is a very simple traffic light system to highlight whether this fault is severe or not. But what it will do using the AI, which is contained within the device, it will give you a description of what the fault is and also what possible recommendations are to resolve the fault. The more technical properties are on the right hand side, uh, which gives us decibel levels, for example. But then we also move down to other parameters within the partial discharge application. This useful section here, partial discharge type, tells you whether it's negative corona, positive and negative corona, floating discharge, or surface or internal discharge. We then move down to the waveform, which again is included in the report if you wish. And then we have a section on PRPD patterns, again, which is shown on the screen of the camera also. So as the partial discharge changes from one to another, the profile which is shown on the camera, and shown in this section here, will show a different profile. 